Well, welcome to Government House, Honorable Prime Minister, members of Cabinet, family of Honorable Sarah Flood Bobran, her wider family, her constituency, members of the media. We are gathered this afternoon to witness um, the swearing in of the Honorable Sarah Flood Bobra, member of the House of Assembly, who was appointed as minister in the Ministry of Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs, and the Public Service with effect from July 20th, 2016. So this afternoon, Honorable Sarah Flood Bobra will be taking two oaths. The first is the oath of allegiance, and the second is the oath of office, uh, better known as the oath of cabinet ministers. So without uh, further ado, I invite uh, Acting Cabinet Secretary, Sadalsu, to assist, and Honorable Sarah Flood, Barbara, to take her oath. I, Sarah Flood Bobran, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to St. Lucia, that I will uphold and defend the Constitution and the laws of St. Lucia, and that I will conscientiously and impartially discharge my responsibilities to the people of St. Lucia. So help me God. I, Sarah Flood Bobron, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to St. Lucia, that as a minister of the government of St. Lucia, I will discharge my duties and perform my functions honestly to the best of my ability, faithfully in accordance with the law, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being and prosperity of St. Lucia, and that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal the business or proceedings of the cabinet or the nature or contents of any document communicated to me as a member of the cabinet or any matter coming to my knowledge in my capacity as a member of the cabinet except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as a minister. So help me God. Prime Minister, Cabinet Members, the Honorable Sarah Flood Bowman. <laughs> Minister, I need, always need an Ed Memoir. <laughs> Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs, and the Public Service. I invite, I invite Minister Gobra to say a few words. Well, a pleasant good afternoon to everyone, Your Excellency. Thank you for so graciously uh, performing this important ceremony. Honorable Prime Minister, ministers, colleagues, ministers, uh, family, friends, constituents, members of the media. 
I just very quickly want to say thank you to the Prime Minister for giving me this opportunity and thank you for to my colleagues for their support and to the people of St. Lucia of course particularly the people of Cassidy Central for their love their support and their patience I want to also take this opportunity it's not often I do that in public to thank my family my husband Clive is not here but he's such a wonderful and supportive husband I couldn't do this without his support and um, my family moved, moved to England about four years ago, and I've spent the better part of two years here in St. Lucia. And my husband, in spite of his heavy workload, has taken care of our children, has been mother and father to them, and I couldn't do that if my children didn't support this. So I want to thank them publicly. I've never had a time when anybody called to complain and said, why are you in St. Lucia, not in London? And that's tremendous. So Michael and Mary Josephine are here. I want to thank them for being here and for sacrificing mommy to so many people. And my husband who's not here, certainly he's here in spirit. So thanks to everyone. And uh, I look forward to serving the people of St. Lucia to the best of my ability. I thank the people again for their love and support. And of course, I trust in the favor and grace, blessing of the almighty God that I may be able to discharge my duties in the best way possible so that God's kingdom can be done on earth as in heaven. Thank you very much.